Right, so in this video I'm just going to show you a super quick tutorial how to do something fun and interesting with your images in Canva. We're going to create this effect with the cut pieces and the shadows in between. It's a lovely thing to do and it's really fun and it gets you using the different elements in Canva. So I've created just um, a basic Instagram template that I'm going to use and we need two main things. We need an image and we need a shadow. So first of all, I've got this image I'm going to use. I've added it into my design. You can upload your own image as well. And on the second page, we need a rectangle. So I'm going to hit the key R and a rectangle with a pair. Make it slightly thinner. We don't want it too thick. And change the colour. So I'm going to make it black. We now need to download this. This is where you will need the Pro account because we have the transparent background option in Pro. We just want the second page and we want to download it as a PNG, which is an image file. Okay, so that's now downloading. Once it's downloaded, you need to upload it into your Canva account. So you go to your uploads and you drag your image into the upload section and there you have it. I'll delete that because we don't need the second page now. So here we now need to change the size of this image. So this is our image and we are going to just reduce the size to the column that we want. So there we go, one, go back to your photos, put it on top, position it to the back so you've got this column on top. Highlight the image, you can drag it all the way and it, you can see there's a dotted pink line so you know that is where the first column lies. So now we have two. Add a third one, it will add it directly on top. You do need to position it to the back, so go back as far as you can. So you've got one, two, and then this is the third one. There's three. Add the image on again, position it to the back, all the way to the back, and you can pull this across, you'll get your pink line, so that's where the last image ends, just drag it out slightly, and then this one, position to back, but leave it whole. So as you go, you can now see the different layers of each image. What I would then do, take your second image, reduce the height of it ever so slightly. Take your third image, you can see where it's now hit the second image, reduce it slightly. The fourth image, and your fifth image. Now this is where you'll see it start to emerge. You can see the step changes you've just created. If they're too big, if the step changes are too small or they're too big or the images are too wide, you can adjust them individually at this point now. Now we need to add in our shadow. So we have uploaded this black image. And this is where we are going to create the shadow. So I'm just going to increase the size, so we'll send it to the back and you can start to see that there will be a shadow emerging here. Then we go over to adjust and this is where you can adjust the blur of the image. As you can see it's now really coming together. We duplicate that and move it over to the second, you may want to increase the size slightly position until you get it into the right position. Then you need to copy the shadow again, highlight it, highlight your shadow, duplicate it and then just move it through your design so that it slightly covers the next one and then position two back until it goes where you want it to go. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time for the last one. So duplicate, 
decrease the size slightly so that it fits and then send the position to back and there you have it there you have an image that you've cut apart you've created a shadow and you've put it in between <clears throat> we could even add one last shadow at the very end just to give it that feeling of being completely off the page <clears throat> 